Lavender Loco here, Lavandre aka Lavender Loco if you want you. My name is actually Lavandre. Um, but Lavender Loco because yeah, long story. Anyway guys, um, I want to just thank you guys so much for the new subscribers. Um, and thank you for the oldies, you know, um, for tuning in today. So today I'm going to be doing a 10 minute makeup video because I haven't been wearing last week. I haven't been up and wanting to wear makeup so this is a new lip gloss this is the absolute new york lip gloss i bought this at this skim and it has the most beautiful corally shade they already have champagne pink <coughs> excuse me but yeah they have a different they have a bunch of these and this one was only 34 rand so basically 35 because it's 34.95 so i'm just gonna apply some gloss and if so yeah i actually like the applicator on the thing oh yeah nice i do have my revlon gloss here with me as well like this thing is like so old it's busy um falling apart but yeah it's busy separating so i'm using this at home just to use it up just to finish it off um <clears throat> so let me not ramble anymore and just get on with the thing um yeah i thought i wasn't gonna speak and talk but I don't know. So for brows, I'm just going to use Wet n Wilds crayon. This one is in medium brown. And I'm not going to do a whole lot with my brows. A lot of people saying that this is too hard. Um, I genuinely don't like a waxy consistency brow product. I don't like it. I actually love this. I did have the shade Ash Brown, but I gave that one to my sister. So yeah, I'm using this one now. This one is almost finished. I want to try out the Plagal Brow Goodies, the Plagal Brow Thingamajig. Like the one that um, gives you the hair like strokes and then the other one like the pencil. I also saw Beauty Treats having um, a brow gel, so I might pick that up. I might. Guys, I'm super stoked. My hair ventilating needle came in. So there, like nothing to um, out there. So this is what I currently have left of this. I just want to see if like I'm out of focus or what the deal with my camera. Brows are done. I'm going to move on to foundation. I have two with me. Um, I have, gosh this thing is so dirty. I have my BB cream with me and then I have my Essence Stay All Day. I'm very light because it's winter time or not winter as of yet but it's fall I think this might even be too dark for me for primer I'm just gonna use my Wet n Wild mattifying primer this is a great drugstore primer if you're looking for something to keep you matte this is the girl for you guys you can find Wet n Wild at Click source if you are in the US of A. I think you can find Wet a Wild at Ulta if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Um, you can find Wet a Wild there. Um, so yeah, I thought I wasn't gonna speak and talk, but I actually missed you guys like a hell of a lot. Um, yeah. So I'm actually just going to use this. I'm not going to use a ton. What did I just do now? I think I did not. I'm not going to use a lot. 
a foundation. <clears throat> I need foundation, like, yeah. Like, I am so confused when I see this no makeup makeup looks like how do you guys do that like i'm still trying to figure out what way how who you know i think i'm just gonna take this brush i did apply this illuminator with it not this one but the other one i think i'm just gonna use this to apply it because i really want to like blend out the product without taking too much away like a sponge but I do have my sponge sitting here in front of me but I feel like I don't want that I do still want the most coverage but then again <clears throat> I don't want a sponge So how is everybody doing? How's you? How's work? How's life? How's the family? How is your spring? How is your summer? Your autumn? How is it? <clears throat> yeah guys, so now for contour. This contour is actually very dark. But for some reason, I still just want to go ahead with it. Like, why am I like this, guys? So I think I'm going to be taking this brush. And I'm going to dip into this shade. It actually looks so good. But I feel that it is too dark for me. I feel like I should mix it with the oil because it's very hard. You know. It's a very hard formula. I don't know how to say it, but so I just took like a, a little bit, and I'm just gonna cream contour. Just gonna warm up. Okay. So the so you only need a little guys I wanna get the she glam liquid bronzer like I'm seeing this for the longest time ever and then I want the L buddy bronzers but I'm sure if the she glam works for me I'm gonna get like a lot of those because that is not so expensive but then again customs I genuinely haven't picked up makeup in a hot minute but it's not because I don't want to honestly I don't wanna like I'm barely using the stuff I have like I don't know man I'm just like not into makeup lately you know like makeup is not that deep so yeah like it's just really not that deep okay so last time i took away a whole lot and you don't need actually one okay so this is in the shade medium deep this is the la gold the medium deep one and i kind of look snatched like right um no you don't Stop playing. I feel so bronze now. I feel like I need to go back in with some foundation just to like sort out this the contrast. Okay, See, that looks so much better. 
Okay, for concealer, for blush, I actually do have a liquid blush. Where is she right now? She is actually from Avon, which my bestie actually got for me. Which is the shade. This is called Pillowy Pink. You can use it for your lips. It is a twin one. This is a cushion cloud lip and cheek color. So I'm just going to apply this. It's like a mauve pink. That is what it is. A mauve pink. And you guys are like, why haven't you applied your concealer? We'll get to that in a minute. I know some people does not like to wear blush, but I'm that person. My life is not complete without blush. Okay, so now guys, I'm going to apply the concealer and I'm basically going to even out. You know, for concealer, I'm just going to use a smudge concealer. This is in Mystic Page. Yeah, which it is a Clix brand, South African brand, guys. Um, yeah, this is a very hydrating concealer with like a little. Yeah, this is a very hydrating concealer. The coverage isn't like boom out of this world, you know. It is an everyday concealer. I love it for my dry under eyes. So if you prefer something a bit more matte this isn't the girl for you okay not the girl you want to invest in i think i'm just gonna take this one and then i'm just gonna start blending everything out guys see how beautiful and glowy my skin is like it is such so beautiful like i wanted to use this perfect um pearl pink oh my goodness at the back it says pearl pink like what i checked this thingy out and it's like never mind never mind never mind so guys i'm just gonna go in with this brush and then I'm just gonna apply it on here like so as a strong alcohol scent so there we have that now I'm just gonna set everything with powder for powder I'm gonna use my Revlon one yeah let me use a Revlon one now So I'm just going to be taking this brush again and I'm just going to dip into my Wet n Wild Blossom Glow Highlighter. As you guys can see, it is the prettiest of pink. Like, so gorge. So gorge. Um, I guess I'm done for the face. Um, for the eyes, I'm just gonna apply some mascara. This one is by Essence. This is the Lash Princess one. This one is in Lash False Lash Effect, the green one. Why would I poke myself in the eye? I'm just gonna wait for that to dry and then I'm gonna take it off because my face actually looks so freaking darn good like so I'm just gonna take a brush just this brush and I'm just gonna take some of this lip out and I'm just gonna apply this on my lips okay I'm just gonna apply this on my lips Thank you. 
Obviously, if you wanna, you can add lashes. I just don't want to add lashes right now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you guys so much for watching. And so the next one, guys, I'm loving you to stay safe and peace out. Bye.